In this video, we're going to use trig to find a missing angle. The button that we'll use to find this is the second cosine button, and it'll look like cosine to the negative one on your calculator screen when you see it. We'll start by labeling the sides of our triangle and writing Sokotoa. Some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid. And the sides of this triangle, if we're referring to this missing angle as theta, are going to be the hypotenuse and the adjacent side. Sometimes it's really hard to tell when the triangle's long and skinny like this, which is the hypotenuse and which is the adjacent side. But if you look at this right angle symbol, like an arrow, it always points to the hypotenuse. So we're going to use cosine, which is adjacent, hypotenuse. So we'll set up our equation. The cosine of theta equals adjacent hypotenuse. So that's going to be 45 over 50. And now we need to get cosine by itself. We need to get rid of the cosine. So to get rid of the cosine, we need to do something that cancels it out. So to cancel out addition, we subtract. To cancel out squaring, we square root. To cancel out cosine, we do the second cosine, which looks like this on our calculator. And these two cancel themselves out. And so all we're left on this side is cosine with a little negative 1, 45 over 50. And this is what we'll put in our calculator. And we'll get theta equals, and we're going to have to round and we'll get 25.84 which rounds to 26. And that's our answer.